What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to some more Eternal Darkness. In the last episode, holy crap, there's blood all over the floor. Last episode, we found a giant freaking sword and it kicked everybody's butt. Oh. Oh, I'm sinking through the floor. Oh no! I must escape the sinking! Oh, I got a sinking feeling. That's cool! This game takes advantage of, like, things you wouldn't normally. Wait, did I get anything from this room? I don't think I did. That's the way backwards. Is there seriously nothing in here? I don't- I didn't get anything, right? Oh, I got the ruby effigy. Oh, I see. Okay, right, 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 right. Okay, now- Now I'm- Maybe that'll hopefully help with the other room. I don't like how slow I move. I hate how when you don't have much health left. Why did my health pop up, actually? Hey, when you don't have much health left, the, uh, you walk slower. That's just really annoying. I mean, it'd be nice if it made you occasionally walk slower, but... It sucks that you always walk slower. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I really like the sanity effects in this game. They really- I mean... They weren't plainly obvious that there were sanity effects. Like, if I didn't know some of them were coming, like... If I didn't know sanity effects were part of this game, then I'd probably be really confused why I was occasionally sinking through the floor. Um, and why my game pretended to shut off, and why my controller was saying it wasn't working. Like, that would definitely trick me if I had no idea what this game was. I mean, I don't really know too much about this game, but... I mean, the little I do know kind of doesn't ruin the concept for me, but... it. Kind of takes away the surprise. Any any time I know something or realize something weird is happening, I know to accept accept that it's probably just because the game's trying to mess with me. <laughs> hmm. All right, now this seems to be kind of an issue because I have no idea what the heck to do. I might have to do one of those things where I'm just like, I'll see you guys later when I figure out what the heck's going on. Cannot be enchanted. Okay, gotcha. Oh, does this have to do with the? Oh, there we go! That was a clever puzzle. You carry around this book with you pretty much the entire game, and I can't move anymore. Oh, I have, <laughs> I have to pick up the book before I move again. Gotcha. Yeah, I like how the, the game makes you carry around this book the entire time, but you never use it. So the one time you do have to use it, it really kind of fools you. That was cool. It's the zombies! It's the zombies, dudes! can also attack me. Holy crap! Okay. This game's on Ferris poop. I think when I'm touching the green stuff, it's hurting me or something. Oh, yeah. Exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm act I actually died this time. That's the first time I've died in this game, I think, right? I think. Maybe the second time. Might be the second time. Oh, no. I don't recognize this. <laughs> Kareem has perished at the hands of the eternal darkness with no one to stop their diabolical plans. Humanity will surely be in alley. Have I even stopped anyone's evil plans yet? I seem to have failed every single time, so... What? Oh no, that might have just corrupted my... Really? I don't think that messed up my game, but... That was scary. <gasps> Are you serious? Really? No way! This isn't just a sanity effect, is it? No. -uh. What? 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 Ah. Uh, I guess I'll see. Well, I know all the puzzles, but even so, I never really got stuck on anything for too long. So this might take a while. I'll see you guys in a bit. And I can't skip cutscenes, it seems. So, oh god, I'm so far back! I'll see you guys in like an hour of gameplay later. Ugh. And I'm back! That probably took around 40 minutes to get back. I did learn quite a bit, though. Okay, this is- okay, this is pretty much exactly where I died. Okay, awesome. Wasn't entirely sure where I died, I couldn't really remember. Okay, this is going a lot easier. Yeah, I did find some tips and tricks. Uh, plus, now that I knew I could enchant my swords and weapons and all that, that makes things go a lot quicker. Um, holy things. I was killing all the things really quickly. I'm also saving a lot more constantly now. Oh, oh god dang, because stupid stuff like that happens. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are a pushover with enchanted. 
uh, whatever this is called. I really wish I could just carry this around with me everywhere, because seriously, this weapon's badass and poop. I was like, poop! Okay, let's move back a bit here before I die. Um, those... Uh, I, whatever those things are called that transport you to another dimension. Um, what I call the face huggers. I figured out you could actually use those to your advantage, because there's certain portals you can go through on there that will actually heal you. Um, so next time I go through one of those, I'll have to show you guys what I mean. But they're actually really freaking helpful. At first I was trying to avoid them, but no, I mean, there doesn't seem to be, like, a penalty to actually using them to your advantage. Like, I don't see why you wouldn't want to use those all the time, because, like, you could go get- You could heal up your magic, you could heal up your insanity, or your health. You know, you can't do all three, but you could do one- you could choose one and do it. And, I mean, if there's multiple of those face huggers in the room, then you can just go back multiple times and reuse them. Oh boy. How many of these guys are there? Holy crap! And also, my enchant is gone. Oh well. You guys actually should come. Okay, you know what? Let's enchant. Uh, let's re enchant this. Let's be smart here. Oh no. Okay, okay, great. Great. Uh, we should probably turn around. Oh, there we go. Kill all the things. Every last one of them. Oh yes, oh yes. Alright, can I end your lives, please? Thank you. I'll also end your life, please. I will, they- oh, no, or not, I'll- oh god, I'm actually pretty close to death again, this is unfortunate. This is an unfortunate turn of events, uh, I can end your life, thank you, sir. Dude, how many of these guys are there gonna be? Oh, no, 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 I do not want to die again, although if I do die, it won't be as bad, but still, I kind of don't really feel like dying again. Oh, okay, I cannot take your body. I cannot insert my sword into your body, sir. Dude, I hate these things! I'm losing so much health! Why?! Good lord. I love losing health for absolutely no reason, other than just because we should probably run! <gasps> oh my good lord. You should end your life. Thank you. Oh my- Sir, I was supposed to- What? How? How? Oh my good lord. Uh. Eh. Uh -huh. Right. How? First of all, how? Second of all, how? And third of all, how? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Now let's make sure this game isn't gonna flip its shit. It doesn't seem to. Great. Okay. Phew. Um, if you guys haven't heard me say it before, whenever this game switches, like it reloads something, for example, like a new game, or it, like resets a game or something, it seems to kind of make my capture card corrupt its file as recording, which means I can't, you know, use the video because it's kind of corrupted, so... The darkness comes! Uh, another thing I figured out is you can't save all the time. Oh boy, I am kind of far back. Okay, I'll just meet you guys back. Yeah, you can't save all the time, though. Um, thank you. You can only save when you've cleared a room completely of all monsters. If, it, if you haven't cleared the room, it'll say something like, The darkness comes, you can- it is not safe to save now. Which I had no idea what the heck that meant at first, but I pretty much discovered that what it means is I can't save because there's monsters in the room. So, I will see you guys in, like, probably two minutes. BRB. Okay, we're back, I guess. Um... I forgot I had that salesman. I haven't used it yet, so that guy could totally see me, can't he? Oh my good lord! Seriously, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Holy crap! No, I'm walking backwards! Damn it! Freaking god, no! <laughs> um, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. This is really freaking bad. Okay, let's try. Please, second item to enchant. Yes, I'll take that, please. Please, yes, 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 I gave me enough time. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, let's stun you. Alright. Oh, did that work? It didn't work! Now let's use a tiles. I think he's- I think that's what the blue stuff does. Why did it do anything?! Are you kidding me?! What the fuck?! How the fuck?! What?! 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 Okay, I'm back again, I guess. I'm trying this green enchant stuff this time. I don't really know exactly what the difference is, like, at all. Uh, I know this guy drains my health, so I gotta be quick about him. Oh, he's already dead, nice. Kill him, kill him, okay. Come on, come on, come on, no, 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 no. Oh, I was kinda hoping he would grab me. Actually, I, he didn't hit me anyways. 
But what I it's I seem to know is I'd rather have oh god here he comes. Here this bastard comes. I don't think he can see me when I'm around corners. Can he? I'm not too sure. Wait, how's my health look? How my health look? Okay, it's looking pretty good this time. Okay, great. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna first switch to these. Oh, I can enchant these, can't I? Uh great. Super. Super. Okay. Now let's uh equip them real Okay, they're equipped. Great. Oh great. It's hitting the pedestals. No! Okay, great. Oh god, he can totally hit me from there. Great, super. Uh huh? I'm this is not doing a gosh dog diggity thing. I'm gonna die. Oh no. This is not any better than before! You will swing it! Just you will swing it! I'm mashing A as quickly as I possibly can! No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes, I killed him! There better not be any more. I'm healing just in case. Right freaking now. Use it! <laughs> great, great, now finish. Oh, I don't think I actually did anything. Well, I used it, but I don't think it healed me. Let's use it again. Uh, I think I deactivated that too quickly, or I moved too quickly, or something. That better not have interrupted it as well. Yes! Oh! It's the Metroid! Why'd the Metroid pop up? Also, what's this way? Is this where I came from? It is where I came from. Okay. Hopefully I didn't break anything by going through that door, although I don't think it would. Woo! So we got the green one. Did we ever get the red one? I don't think we did, did we? The Satan's... Talon thing. All right, let's grab the Metroid. Shaped like a delicate dome, a ball, a, a, a pale blue. I read that was ball for some reason. I don't freaking know. A uh, statue floats gracefully above the pedestal. Should Kram claim the artifact? Oh, is this what his freaking manly lover wanted? I think so. Kareem, so happy. We will be together forever. Chandra. Grandma. I read that as grandma. What? What happened to you? She died, didn't Things change, my dear Kareem. But even though my body is ravaged, <laughs> ravaged. Who did this? You're to just you? using him, you dick. You were gone so long. I was. I gave myself to a nobleman with a jealous mistress. Ha! She had me dragged from my bed, and in cruel revenge, flensed with knives. As the last blades were drawn across my body and my blood cooled upon the floor. She cursed that I would only be with another in death. So much for thinking only of me. Ha! I never have left. I have seen my folly and have already paid dearly. I see so much more now. In death, I know the true value of the artifact which I asked you to find. Always the artifact. And it is not for us to possess. If we are to be together again, you must make a sacrifice. Only when that is complete will we be together. Sacrifice. <sighs> Why should I do anything for you? Thank you! You lied to me. Finally some common sense. Me. Use me! You really don't look so good anymore. You must forget <laughs> the past. Despite who you are now. And you don't even look any good you anymore. You also become something more. Just as I am. But the sacrifice must be made. We must remain here and guard the artifact. Dark things will come to claim it, and you must be strong to keep it from them. Without your sacrifice, the She's world small, will fall son. into eternal darkness. Sanity's Requiem? The things I do for love. Hey! Cool. What? God dang it. Uh oh. Oh, I thought my game froze. I totally thought I was going to say, screw you, and grab the artifact, and then terrible things were about to happen. Chapter complete! Oh, what's this? This is the intro, which kind of scares me. Did the game break? What? What? Why did that? What? 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 Why did that pop? Whoa! I'm back here! To be continued, the battle has been won, but the war against darkness is far from over. Huh? What? What? Why am I back here? That was really confusing. I, I was okay. That's the first time one of these actually fooled me. I thought something was happening there. 
Why am I back in here? Hello? Well, I wasn't getting it off there, but... Um, I accidentally came across a cutscene while I was redoing everything. Um, it, it's a small, like, two-second thing. It wasn't too big of a deal. But... Is there a phone in here? Can I, can I actually answer the said phone? I don't think I've seen a phone. Oh, yes, there is! I forgot! Woo! Hello? Remember me, Alex. Okay. Cool, I guess. I wonder if we could have done anything with that door knocking as well, but... I mean, I don't really know where that door knocking was coming out. It could have been from any of these doors, to be honest. Okay, so that cutscene I saw was actually just over here. And we came in this door before, right? Like, this is... Actually, we might as well finish examining this room since we never did look through everything. Mm. This is plenty of man in some Napoleonic garb. Uh, obviously, an intentional exaggeration. He is painting an ollie quirky feel. Oops. Oops. Dude. There we go. Okay, it's difficult to exit, I notice, in this game when you're examining something, because... Yeah. What's this? It's better not be another change. Some 38 revolver ammunition. 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 We have yet to get a gun, but that's okay. At least it tells me there's probably going to be guns in this game. <gasps> there's probably going to be guns. Okay, so. Oh, that was weird. I just turned around by myself. I didn't touch the controller. Anyway, so yeah, if we go on this door. I thought initially I went through that door to my left here. So I, I walked to this door, and all of a sudden, <gasps> this popped up. And you can kind of see the door engraved there. It's kind of an outline. And that's it. So that's what you guys missed. So, I mean, yeah. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Whatever. Hmm. Okay, let's go examine what's going on here. Then could we just walk through here? Examine. Hmm. The wallpaper of the section of the hallway is oddly mirrored, as though the wall it sits on is not even with the rest of the room. Hmm. I wonder what that could possibly mean. I punched it. Do we use this? Oh yeah, we also we also get to keep this Gladius, which I completely forgot about. And I don't even know if I'm actually pronouncing that right. I feel like I'm wrong. Oh, I was gonna say this wall Whoa! Stained glass depicts a glowing medieval maiden luminous even with the faint light of the setting sun. The maiden clasps a piece of parchment in her hands. The window gives Alex a so she's feeling almost like has a magical and not really there. A glowing field of energy protects the window. Okay, so do we have- Oh, that- We do have that! We do have that! Um... Okay, that did nothing. I didn't really think it would. Uh, I don't want to enchant. Okay, well... Done everything I could think- Oh, actually, actually, actually... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, how do we enchant? Okay, like that. Okay, so... Let's try enchanting this. There we go. Now let's see if we could like. Okay, that's clearly not the answer. But you know, I thought it was gonna be like a Wind Waker kind of thing where we use our enchanted blade to chop down the barrier. But no, doesn't seem to be what's up here. What's up? Okay. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play uh, Eternal Darkness Blinds. If you guys enjoy, please feel free to leave likes when you're ready. My name's Chris. In the next episode, we will first examine this. Okay, and then in the next episode, we'll go through that door. Yay! See you guys next time. Bye!